Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. Unfortunately for Ja Rule, uh, Ja Rule won't be able to perform in the UK after booking several uh, dates for a European tour, UK tour, whatever you want to call it. Basically, he will no longer be able to do it because he's been denied access into the UK because of his past criminal record. Now, I don't understand They've let 50 Cent, they've let Snoop Dogg, they've let other, you know, artists come there and perform and and do, you know, business over there. But for some reason, they won't let Ja Rule over there. Um, makes no kind of sense whatsoever. No, I'm not saying it's, it's a, a, a racial thing, but it's a thing that poses a question mark. Now, Ja Rule says he's pretty much out of $500,000 because I guess he did everything himself. You know, I guess, you know, he didn't use a middleman, a, a concert promoter. I guess he's doing his own uh, promotions where you deal directly with him. So, you know, so basically he spent his own money to put together the shows and whatnot. And it appears that he won't be able to perform because he's been denied entries. Um, you know, um, at the end of the day, we all make mistakes. Um, I know. Their rules are different from ours. Um, technically, there's nothing he can do unless he can, you know, find a way to get them to change their mind. But I just don't understand why they won't let him come over there to perform when, like I said before, there's been several, you know, not only hip hop artists, just actors and stuff that <laughs> have criminal records and been in trouble with the law and been allowed to work over there. So I just don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. And that is messed up. And that's unfortunate for Ja Rule. Listen, I ain't the biggest Ja Rule fan in the world. Um, I never bought none of his albums, but at the end of the day, you know, they're preventing him from, you know, making a living. So I'm just puzzled by the fact that they won't let him, uh, come over there and perform, you know, where they made exceptions for other people. So this might be something internal, this might be somebody making a phone call, hating on him. And we all know who that could possibly be. Not in, not not putting that out there, not insinuating nothing because I don't have proof. But it wouldn't surprise me because you know what individual I'm talking about because he's known to do things like this. Keep in mind, you know, when he was performing, you know, in the States, you know, this dude bought all the tickets and nobody came to a show. But at the end of the day, doesn't matter whether you bought all the tickets because you still put money in his pocket. So at the end of the day, it was still a W for him, you know? And my thing was I would have went out there and rapped. I would have did the whole show because at the end of the day, contractedly you were obligated to perform. So I would have went out there and did a show still perform, but you know, I'm not saying nothing. Cause like I said, once again, don't have no proof, but this sounds like somebody made a phone call. Sound like some, you know, hating. But anyway, this is your boy Town Biz. Just wanted to speak on it. I'm out.